Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Um, oh, I like that. Eller Future. Elijah, I found, remember I sent you a picture of that? The for the for the is that it? No, that's the one I just made for you. The other one oh. is uh, the, um, the I didn't I couldn't find it and I had a digital version, but it didn't look that good. So I just thought I just in oh, case see, I made you a new one. Yeah, I like that one better than the pink one that I have from way back. Right. But also what I want to do is, is I have the discovery process and I sent you a picture of the map that I found in a bunch of old paper. Oh my goodness. Did you see it? No, it's, it's the map. And it was strictly for the discovery. Yeah, it's right. Just wait, I'll show you. I'm going to see if this is it. Yeah. Okay. I'll send it to you right now. Okay. I sent it to you Facebook. on Thursday. In email or Facebook? Uh, uh, messenger and Facebook. Because you had a video, how do you organize your mind? And then I sent that to you and I go, and then you asked me how everything went with the call. That is a map that was done more specific. A synergy wheel. It says value system, but honestly, the um, intention or the vision is by using the discovery process lifestyle planning model to discover and understand our clients from the inside out, LR Future continues to be an awakened company. Mm. So it's kind of, hold on that. Side. Is that the value system you sent or is that something else? No, that was a different values one that I must've done a long time ago. I'm gonna forward, I'll, did you see it? Yeah. Well, you, okay. Like it's, it's, I think I did that one more with the discovery process in mind. Cause I think, you know what Kaylee said to me as well as Wendy, she goes, you need to get that discovery process going again, Lori. It's unbelievable. Like that was the overall LR one that you got there. Right. But where the discovery process comes is through the financial member. Cause I said economics on the harmony map. Yeah. If we take that and we turn that into a more an individual map, that's what the actual discovery process is all about money but your own self with money not an organization but look at the values on here harmony humor privacy pragmatism achievement in the creativity because what i'd like to do for the next two weeks while sylvia is gone is you and i plan some time and go through my discovery process and i'll kind of let you know what it's about and then you'll go oh Lori, this would work or this could work Okay. okay. And then I can get that going. And then Wendy's going to start. I mean, as long as she's feeling okay, they want to put her through a whole bunch more chemo. And she said, no, she's going to call all the clients that we've ever kind of done anything to do with the discovery process. She's going to call them and okay. give them an invite to come in so we can start reigniting it. Cause I've kind of put it on the back burner and I think I, it's I, a big, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's, it's your main entry. It's your main product. Yeah. yeah. And it's a part, and it's, it, it is something that I do and like, I'll only be the one that does it, yeah. but I put it on hold while we're getting the visionary hub rolling, eh? Right. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, the thing is, they're essentially um, launching together and there's stuff. Right. And I think just like me, me and you, we have the same problem in a sense of moving between multiple everythings and not yeah. really finishing the thing that is our thing into the world kind of thing because we're we're building other infrastructure right and that's right. that's always going to be sort of like the big tug in this when you're sort of like founding let's say a shared knowledge community is yeah. is your you know there, there's a lot more that you're looking at building than rather than just your thing but if you just did your thing because i find i sort of i stopped putting as much time and effort in other people and just did my thing then mm -hmm. i got quite a bit farther along with with what I had to do and it takes focus and it takes really learning to, you know, I mean, you're a much more social person than me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I'm, and yeah. So for you, it's much harder because you're, you know, I, I have, I have made certain choices for certain reasons so I can do that. But, yeah. so, but sometimes during your life, even for it's a week or two, like it doesn't have to be always, but the, you know, just to hunker down focus and complete you know, go yeah. from the structure into the inner structure, into the content. And I did that like, well, I didn't do it totally, but I did that with my seven maps. I come up with something that is is mm -hmm. in that seven step process. Each one is a map or series of maps. And for me, that's like, 
the time. It's the, it's the it's what gets everyone on time synchronization. Yeah. So, so each of us, if you're coming in with money, you know, your money part is a massive part. I mean, you know, look at the look what's happening. We need to change the economic system. We need to oh. change everything about money. And you know what I'm finding though, like when we did the Dare to Be You last, Carrie and I, and we have another one coming up September 20th. What I found is we did a questionnaire to the women. Is there anything else that you would like to? And we gave them some lists of topics. Guess what was the least interested to that for them? Money, money. So I'm going like, what the heck? It's causing the most dis-ease in humanity. Yeah. And yet they put that as their, because you know why? It brings pain for yeah. a lot of people. So I go, okay, how can we, because we're either walking away from pain or we're looking for pleasure. That's pretty much it. So how can we allow them to come to pleasure and then just introduce that? So, you know, I, I got that self-education revolution thing I listened to last couple of weekends ago and they said, um, give people what they want, but no, no. Yeah, give them what they want, but show them what they need. So you put it out there and you give them what they want. And it's not money right now, Elijah. You give them what they want and then you show them what they need because they come into the process and money comes up. Right. So it, it's not the main tool, even though we know it needs to be. It's not what people are wanting. It's what right. they're needing, but not what they're wanting. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way. And I think through the visionary hub and bringing them into the circle of life, whichever area they may fit in, I think is a key component because those nine areas, there's one thing for sure in that area that you're going, oh my goodness, I need to check in with that. Right. I need yeah. better communication with my husband. I need to do self-growth. I need to be more spiritual. Money seems to be last. Maybe we have to do a, to all our people, do a survey. Well, <gasps> I, I just, I don't interrupt you there, but I just want to sort of, I don't okay. think it is necessarily last, but I think in the, in the way that it's set up, let's say in society or in people's minds, it can be last. But I think that what you're going to have is like your methodology of transforming that relationship with money. I mean, money is at the forefront of most people's attention. They may not choose it and want to deal with it, but it is at the forefront of their attention. And, and if you can go, let's double your income or let's, mm. Let's let's cut your expenses 20%. Like whatever is that oh, okay. number, they're gonna go, uh, you know, you just need to start teaching. And it's like me, like whenever I start teaching someone, I realize, holy cow, like these guys know nothing about what I'm what what is just normal for me. Mm -hmm. And if they just knew this, <clears throat> holy cow, communication for everyone would be way better. Oh my gosh, that you know what you just hit it. It's the way it's being presented. So let's cut your expenses by 20%. Oh, you know what? It just gets them in the door and you start looking at where they are right now. What was the other thing you said, Elijah? You um, said two double your income. Oh yeah, double your income. Yeah, let's see. Why don't we just brown, brainstorm right now? Okay, a, yeah. A bunch of like, to, like the customer takeaways. Yeah. Potential customer go. takeaways. Yeah. In catchy phrases. So it's almost like you, you have no choice but to answer yes to all of these. Yeah. Right? Lower expenses, 20 expense. Yeah. Um, live, live, like I always, in, in cash flow planning, live the life of your dreams. And that, that's it. Like I was just seeing some marketing strategies or examples, and they said, stay away from phrases like that. Like it sounds okay. nice, but because they're being used so much and it's kind of, it's yeah. got that yeah. sell thing, it's like, yeah. Yeah, you're we right. Need to, we need some just, new. We need some new phrases that just are brilliant, catchy, and aren't kind of like going to turn people off. Hopefully, that's so, you know, exactly. Let, let's, just, let's keep brainstorming. So, little titles for customer takeaways or benefits of the discovery process. So, the benefits of the discovery process would be uh, making sure your family's taken care of, like something right. along that line. Yeah. Okay because that'll touch the heart. Um, your family is That's taken massive. care of. That's massive. Yeah. Okay, what else? Um, uh, something about your job. So number one, I'll just rattle it off. Number one is accounting. Uh, is num like number one is accounting. How well do you keep track of your money? 
Number two is spending. Are you spending? Are you, do you keep track of your spending? Three is earning. Are you earning money to your greatest potential? Okay. That's one that gonna, is, stands out for me. Okay? Yeah. So are you earning money to your greatest potential? And then you could say, you know, we could put a comment on that. Are you earning money? And then number four is your beliefs. Are the stories you tell yourself about money um, guiding you to live your life to the fullest? Okay. Are the stories so something about stories with money? So we can fill in some some stuff there, right? That's number four. Number five is knowledge. How curious are you about money? And you'll see, Elijah, these all kind of fit in with each of the personalities too. Because okay. five is all about knowledge. They're all in the head, right? Six is risk management. How well do you anticipate problems, st things staying on track? So risk management is like, do you have insurance? Do you have these things that if something happened, you're taken care of? Right. That's six. And then seven is planning. How well do you plan for your future? Eight is wealth management. So that would be, are you, I don't know how we, it would be worded. I just can't remember it quite offhand, but it's wealth management. And then nine is flow. How, how in the flow are you with your money? Now, now, is this the model from that lady that you know? Yeah, that was from Margaret Smith. Yeah. Margaret Smith. Okay. Yeah. Margaret Smith. And then she's got, Elijah, she's got a thing. It's called the nine design principles. And it's a triangle, but it's an upside down triangle. And it says, are you above or below the line in each of these areas? And then it's got questions. So maybe we have to tweak that. And you're going to go, oh, my God, I'm below the line. I think I need to talk to these people. Mm. So it's an upside down triangle. And it just says on there, are you above or below the line? And, you know, I mean, she uses the triangle. We have to use something different. We use it. But well, do you know, I, th I think there's a piece of the puzzle that's missing. Yeah. Um, like everything, the whole systems, but the, yeah. dem the demographics of the customers, of the potential customers. And, right. and I've come up with a, a sort of a 64 grid, but it's basically eight different types of demographics. Based, oh. based upon male and female, perfect. Rich, rich and poor, and young, uh -huh. young and old. Oh. So with those three distinctions, you have like male, rich, um, under thirty-five. It's under thirty-five and over thirty-five. Okay, so young is under thirty-five, and then old is plus thirty-five. Well, that's kind of cool. You so, really simplified it. Just like because you know someone like an over thirty-five rich woman thinks very yeah. differently than a young male under 35, like very different, like these eight are all very different from each other. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's pretty simple just to kind of, uh, like those are just, you know, what's your wealth, what's your gender and what's your age? And, you know, there may be gender problems stuff, but just in the basics yeah. of, of some basic polarities, right? Yeah, wealth, gender and age, boy, you got it. And then those are polarities. I'm just pulling out this, um, so here, let's just look at this one, for example. When I, when I went through those eight, nine numbers with you, which one stuck out for you when I said accounting, spending, earning? You mean in terms of from what? Just, just listening to the comments, like earning, are you earning? You mean in terms of which ones I liked or which ones? Yeah, what, what stood out for you as we went through it? Did you go, okay, well, risk management, you know, okay, are, do you have your life insurance? Do you have all this stuff in order? I, what about earning? Are you earning money to your greatest potential? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm as a uh -huh. as a, a self-funded uh, research scientist. Yeah. My uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I would have I got a lot on the knowledge side, but that maybe not towards money. Like, I mean, it's I've been the fun, you know, the ironic, funny, ridiculous thing is I've been designing a business slash economic system, right? But from the point of yeah, view of, yeah. of not having much money, like th there's mm -hmm. a big difference that if you have a lot of money and you're doing things, it's, you know, and that's why I think 
I've been kept in the state for so long. It, it's like the, the rich people have no idea what it's like to get out of the poor situation, let's say to get rich, like to, to move from poverty into non-poverty when you don't have the resources, when you don't have the networks, when you don't have the, your morale is down, you have no place to work. You know, it's just, it's, it's freaking horrendous. They have no clue. That's why you coming through and out of that, Elijah, is going to be a big story. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, I mean, I started my business from scratch with the banks not giving me a cent. And then finally, I just told them a story and I got a $10,000 line of credit. But I also had a partner that looked after the expenses at home. Yeah, They weren't going to give me money. A, a female, number one, a chick going into financial services, really? And every bank I went to, they gave me obstacles. Really? And then the last bank I go, well, I'm going to go around it. I'm going to climb over it. But you know what I'll probably do if it happens? I'll crash through it. And the bzz, wrong answer. That's not what bankers want to hear, right? <laughs> so, but when I look at these, so, so if we say number nine, balance and flow, how is, a, this is about integrating life into one dynamic, coherent flow. How in the flow are you with your money? So let me just read above and below the line, okay? Okay. So above okay. the line, life feels like effortless functioning. Life is balanced and relaxed. Everything gets done. Everything feels integrated and related. Life flows easily and work happens in the zone. If you're below the line in nine, it's you're pushing against lack of balance, lack of ease, lack of calm, stressed out, effortful, difficult, and chaotic. So here's some of the comments, Elijah, of people living below the line. Money is not in abundance, but there's enough money to pay bills. I do, blue, do believe all my needs will be met if I do the right thing and believe the universe will provide. Mm. You know, like the, this is kind of a neat concept. Are you above or below the line? And it's not even about money. It's about the way we think about it, right? No, I, I love it. So you have all nine of them as single pages oh. or you have the diagnostic yeah. of, does she have a diagnostic or do you have a diagnostic? Of well, yeah, and her diagnostic. So let's just say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a picture of number three because I kind of like three and it's something that you're very in tune with when you're saying go earn a hundred bucks an hour by learning this mapping system to show others. Right. Okay, I'll send right. it. I'll send it to you and then that way you can see it. So, um, okay. We'll get back to this um, grant, this thing, because I think this is pretty powerful, this Saskatchewan thing, because we'd be coming forward with nothing that's ever been seen before. Okay, I sent it to you. Okay. So if you look at this and you look at the top of the page and it says, this is about earning. This is about how your capabilities, human gifts and talents are deployed to create and deliver value, earn income signifying value in a labor exchange. So how well are you earning money in a way that is consistent with living to your greatest potential? Look at above the line. You're confident. You have clear offers, clear value, capable of finding opportunities, ease in creating income streams, working to potential, appreciated, valued, and you're shining. But then look below. Not working to potential, not bringing forward your gifts and talents. You're unable to earn decent income, unengaged, unmotivated, not fully contributing, and a low revenue stream. So what I would see with something like this is because I want to, I take people through the nine domains, but I've never, Elijah, I will tell you the totally truth. I've never taken them through the full nine. I've had people retire sooner than possible and they moved off to BC, bought a place and they're living wealthy. I've had another lady go to three. She only did one, two, and three, which is keeping track of in, in and out and a little bit of beliefs. And she's now gone full time in her own business. And she's making more money than she's ever made. But she was hanging on to that part-time job because it was, it felt safe. And she was a type six in the Enneagram, which is the worrier, right? Can you, so, get, a, can you get a video testimonial from her? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start getting, I wrote that down yesterday that I've got to start focusing on that stuff because it's powerful. Well, do, and I, can, I mean, it, it doesn't, it, I mean, if we, I mean, if it was like a 10 week program where yeah. each week you just go through one of each one. one. 
Yeah. And, then, and you have exercises. Yeah. 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 And then that's your online course. And it can be, you know, you have an online course, then you have a face to face course. Yeah. And they're kind yeah. of the same thing, but they're a little bit different because of, of your presence. Right. But to, to create the structure that's for both, and that would be level one. That's just level yeah. one. So. Mm -hmm. And then um, what else was quite good? And then and then she's got a little worksheet in here. So let's say domain three, it's earning. So then what she's got, did you've got, did you get that text or that uh, message? I just sent that sheet on page three, the domain. Okay. So if you see at the bottom, it says the degree of values to others. I wasn't quite sure what strength one, two, and three meant. I never... But those are the just the kind of you check them off and say, where do you feel you are here? Right. So we could create something along that line, right? Right. But yet I'm gonna send you two because two is kind of cool. Um just what what's here on the two. Are you in contact with her? Like do you have her uh... I can't I haven't talked to her for a long time because when we got together originally, I could contact her tomorrow. But when we got together originally, Elijah, I realized she's doing an Enneagram test based around money. Mm. And she says it needs to be 99% right. So I realized she's a type seven like I am, but her wing is a six. My wing is an eight. Let's just move. Let's put action forward. And she wants to work with financial advisors. I want to work with groups of people. I don't want to work with the advisors. I find that a pretty stuffy group of people, Elijah. For sure. I find them too stuffy and they know it all. So who are, who am I to come in and teach them that? Right. Well, I mean, as I, I just mean, she's obviously a great ally. And, oh. and I think that, you know, within the larger kind of uh, people we want to share knowledge with, it's at the level with her, right. I mean, she's going to yeah. see us using her model. Yeah. And in a manner, you know, just like I'd love to see other people use my models and help them out and, you know, mm -hmm. see where they go with it because it's that's right that's, that's the whole purpose right is to spread the knowledge and create good things from it yeah so anyway so i i think at some point because i'm i'm seeing um you know creating a value system part of your thing to do maybe each week would be to for them to choose a value at each place and at the end of it they have a, a money value system where because mm -hmm. we, we use the value system in terms of the info matrix but you can basically use it towards anything right so right. I mean, if, if they had um let's say here just uh thrift at account at uh, spending yeah and they had accuracy at accounting yes and they had wealth at earning and they had uh um even maybe maybe love at beliefs yeah i think i'm gonna do this for me i'm gonna i'm gonna create a value system Hey. specifically for me and then do it I'm elijah like, yeah and so uh, i do you do you have the discovery map the discovery uh, process map no no where would that be i guess it's on my sharepoint i'd have to look for it and then just go around it but remember as i read this to you and i'm saying you know number one is how well do you keep track of money how yeah. well actually yeah. it's how well do you abide by rules around money so, so above the line is, do you have clear boundaries? You have clarity about inflow and outflow, your clear accounting and budgeting, clear priorities and criteria, and strong discipline, control, order, and strength of foundation. Now, if you're below the line in one, how well you abide by the rules is lack of clarity, discipline, control, lack of regulated discipline, avoidance of details. Uh, um, I, I want to stop in here. Yeah. I don't know how much you layer layer models but have mm -hmm. you have you layered this model on the flow map ever well what i do and I, it's funny i just wrote that down flow map so what i built for people with them as far as a map goes because i didn't want to go too much into it until i had it a little more, more mastered i would use the 852 on the flow map so that's action right the eight is about action even in a personality it's about action so it'd be two we're talking about the resource of money. There's a resource of physicality. There's a resource of all these different things. Time. I said, think of the resource of time. Can you buy back more time? They go, no. 
I said, can you go out and make more money? Of course you can. So that was the two. And then the eight was what's the strategies we're going to use to take you to your goals after they'd chosen three money goals through a questionnaire. And then the five was what's the highest value you hold in the product or the people that we're going to utilize to get you there. Because sometimes Elijah, people would be working with me, but they need critical illness insurance. I would refer them to someone else because I don't do that. So I only use the 852 wheel in the flow map when I ever, that's all I've ever used. And I would just have those cards sitting on the table and just use that. And then we would take those three cards and we put a value on them. So let's say it's a husband and wife. They would divinely choose values, two values for each spot. And then the center was communication. So they would choose those values and then they would have to determine between the two of them in a conversation, which value fit better for that area. It was so much fun to watch. And the one set of clients that went through the process with me, they're now in Vancouver and living a great life. And they said, if it wouldn't have been for you, Lori, showing us this discovery process and stuff like that, they said, that never would have happened. You prepared us to this, to live this life. I mean, there's a lot of massive testimonials. And I really think that you're, you know, we're both similar in a sense of having this incredible knowledge to share with the world. And we haven't finished our packaging. Yeah, we haven't finished the packaging. That's it. And so I'm just seeing that, like, because in the, now by me going, okay, I because I have to apply it like to me. And I, yeah. I just want you to do this because these this is part of the inflow matrix that is just kind of like fascinating. And it's, it's the conceptual okay. skill of layering. And it's like mm -hmm. taking one model here and taking another model here. And because you have the same numbers. They, yeah. they, they have a fit. Like if the if it was five on a nine, it's not the same, but when you have nine on a nine, then you can go, okay, so look at this, accounting, field, spending, resources, earning, job, beliefs, activities, knowledge, products, risk management, relationships, planning, path, wealth management strategies, and direction flow. Totally makes sense, hey? I mean, <sighs> They, they all fit like there's actually a nine by nine grid. So they all fit like there's, there's belief, there's, they all fit with each other. But, but when you do a primary and sometimes mm -hmm. it's arbitrary, like we could fit these together maybe differently in a different nine, but if we're mm -hmm. just matching the model, then we put it on top, boom, mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it told, then you kind of, for me, now that model just goes in because I'm associating what, with what I already know. The flow map is there, but I'm coming in through resources and mm -hmm. then money. So like, this is, this is like, again, watching information flow going, here's the flow map. Where is this map in it? You go, okay, through resources. Yeah. And, then, and then on that we're missing, then you go, we're missing a map, the resource map, where, what are all the resources? One of those is going to be money, but right. we just identified a layer or level that's missing in our in our full belief system, which as you know, there, there's a lot of maps, but basically if we're mapping our entire belief and value system, yeah. there's a lot of missing yeah. pieces and you have a piece on money and there's lots of people out there who have pieces on something. But right. what, what we're looking to do is how do we integrate? How do we bring these maps together? How do they make sense? And how, mm -hmm. how do we, like for me now, it's like, okay, well that just fit in. And now I'm, now I'm gonna go, okay, how does that fit in with all the other stuff too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and looking at you as like coming in and going okay i'm taking my knowledge i want to get inflow matrix and then i want to create this course that yep. then becomes accessible right for all the people in the system but since we're kind of like starting it out these yep. are the first ones that go out these are the first product lines right right so they create the distribution system they like we're creating this global distribution system we're created like there's a massive amount of infrastructure being created in the background mm -hmm. um, as a result of the design and so right. you being front lines yorkton saskatchewan visionary hub and mm -hmm. having you know the experience of it mm -hmm. you're right at that you know forefront of again yorkton saskatchewan i know like we are on the cusp of like <laughs> Lindsay Camp phoned me yesterday. Oh, she did. But she was traveling in the mountains. Like she gets so excited about everything. And then she said something about 
Elijah said, we don't want to get political with this. And I said to her, of course, we don't want to get political. We want to help people step into their power so that they can go out there and make conscious decisions so they don't think they need to fight an old system. That's what I said to her. And, and as we chatted a little bit, she goes, well, I might cut out. I'm in the mountains. And then she cut out and she never did phone me back. So she's saying like that girl does know this stuff. I have to admit. Well, did she say why she, she stopped contacting or? Well, I didn't know that she did. Cause I didn't even get that far with her. Okay. Yeah, no, we, we were on the verge of, of work and, yeah. um, and then we lost touch. You know, I think like when she said to me, yeah, Elijah doesn't want it to get political. And I said, I don't blame them. And I, neither do I, I don't want to be affiliated if all of a sudden this beautiful system that's coming out is just about how do we crush the government? How do we crush this? I would rather say, let's get this beautiful system out there so that we've got all these people coming and saying, we want to go there. There's more much, so much more peace and fun and agility and flexibility working with these people rather than fighting this old system, which again is Buckminster Fuller to a T. Mm -hmm. So and when she said that, I go, well, that totally makes sense. We're not out there to fight. We're there to move into love because if you're fighting, then you're in fear, you know? But if you're embracing a new system and you're bringing it out to the world, you're basically in the love. A guy, I took Spanish lessons yesterday at our hall out here. He's from Mexico city and he has a summer cottage here. And he said to me, he said yesterday, explain, I explained the Maslow's hierarchy. And I said, you know, this is how I think, because we sat and had a conscious conversation after four of us. One was a United, retired United minister. Anyway, he goes, I said, Maslow's hierarchy. I said, as far as I'm concerned, we're pretty darn fortunate, you guys. Here's the basic level of Maslow's. How many people live there? Here we are up here, so fortunate. And of course I get up and I'm doing all this stuff. I go, here we are. Well, as long as people are here and all they're doing is looking to move up that Maslow's and they're not going like this and saying, how do we bring everybody up? Then what good are we doing humanity? And he goes, my grandmother, he goes, this is my story because my grandparents were philosophers in Mexico. He said, think of a ship out in the middle of the ocean, nothing around except water. And there's layers to the ship and the people in the Maslow's up here are at the top of the ship and there's a hole in the bottom of the ship and the poorer people are down there are you just going to ignore that hole yeah like really think about it and a lot of times that's what we're doing elijah we're it not i'm not but we are kind of ignoring that bottom layer so my goal is to and i've got a guy he used to be a social worker with social services and he started a lot of stuff in yorkton society of involvement to good neighbors and now he's with Habitat. He was in Habitat for Humanity with Sylvia. Him and Sylvia are co-chairs. And he's the one that talked me into being the chair 12 years ago. I said, Tom, could you sit down with me and just help me do a proposal or a presentation to Social Services Saskatchewan so that I can bring this Money 101, won't be the name of it, but Money 101 course to work with people on social services. So they can get out of this feeling of no confidence and they're, they're nothing and they're this because I did a five week presentation for the Habitat families for free. Barely any of it was about money. But I did have one, two and three money in money out, but it went into beliefs, it went into choices we're making, they pulled a values card. And how did that look like in this area, it was amazing. And we only had five people there but I'd like to do it again and invite their families. So it's not just mom or dad or mom, but it's them and their children. Mm. So that the children are starting to get a taste of this as well. Because I'll tell you, they have the gifts. They just don't know how to, how to allow their gifts to shine. And well, you get stuck. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of blocks out there that need to be addressed. And yeah. And it's, I guess one, one, one step at a time. <laughs> yeah. So there's my 852. So that's all I've ever used in the discovery okay. process. You were just saying, well, if we take that nine and we can put it on top of a flow map and how does that look? 
that's where I think Elijah, if you and I can focus 100% on that, maybe, I mean, by chance, could that be the project or not really? No, I think well, conscious uh, communications is more of a project. Do you know what? Like it's, it's, it's sort of, we need something, we need a few things to kind of like get our, our names on the table or, or just to, to do something yeah. that gets the province's attention. And while, yeah, you exactly. speaking, while you were speaking, I was thinking, what happens if we created like an anti-poverty program or like a training program where, and I was just thinking maybe like people are coming into the visionary hub and, you know, they had weekly meetings and then there was times where it was open for people just to hang out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because the thing is, you've got that storefront and I, I mean, things happen around scenes. They you know, do. And, they, and to have the scene, you need the music, you need the, the sort of like the cool group to hang out. Yeah. Who, who kind of like, you know, are the core of whatever it is. And I've had that at Dream Spaces, right? It's like, who hangs out at your spot? And I mm -hmm. think that, you know, if it's, and again, like the youth, like if, if you can get sort of like a program for, let's say, 17 to 24 year olds or or different, like maybe three of them, right? Like the youngers, the mids, and the older. Yeah. And and so the program, and again, it's kind of looking, that's of service. You're being of service to the community and you're going, okay, we're going to help these guys go from nothing to getting a job. So Can you imagine the stories that would guide, lead? That's where my pride would come in big time, Elijah, is saying that you, somebody that's been almost, that's sitting in almost poverty, has stepped up and they've shone their light. Yeah. So we've been asked to do a visionator. You know, we did the kids camp. I've been asked by two people now if we would do one for ages 15 to 17. Yeah, that'd be way, way by, time. And... Yeah, two different parents have asked and they said, by chance, would you do? And I thought, oh my gosh, then we bring in values. Then we bring in all that stuff for those kids. And then it prepares them because when they start looking at that stuff at those ages, then it prepares them when they're trying to make decisions coming out of school on what they need to do, right? Well, if they go the full course and have the whole business thinking system, they're going to have a very advanced way of looking at, at how to make a living. And, yeah. and there, I think there's so many opportunities with the software and other things that, you know, whoever learns it first is going to be kind of like ahead of the game because part of the the whole training programs, you pass it on. So as soon right. as you have that's it, you're, you're utilizing it, then you just take the knowledge, pass it on. If that's yeah. the basis of the whole educational slash business model. That's simple. the purpose. But uh, not a lot of people have that we mentality like you do. It's like they all want to, I don't know. So when you look at this Creative Saskatchewan Digital Marketing Working Group with this Annalise Larson on in September, and you look and you, I looked at the different categories. It's a team of three. If there's three, if it's one, it's one, but you can have up to three. It's three hours per week for live group webinars, plus 30 minutes to an hour weekly for applied homework. But did you look at the areas? Like if you go down further and you look at the actual application, Elijah, okay. it says, are you available for all these dates? September 8, 15, 22, 29, 9 a.m. to noon. And then it says, which creative sector, number seven, which creative sector do you work in? If your business falls under multiple creative sectors, select the one that best applies. Uh, book publishing, crafts and visual arts, galleries, interactive digital, film and TV, live performing arts or music. So would you say interactive digital? For sure. Yeah. So that would be the area. Describe the project or the business you plan to work on during the course of the digital marketing webinar. Include details such as what is the project, who is working on the project, and the, what's the goal of it. And I think what we would use, because the Visionary Hub is set up as a corporation, Elijah, mm -hmm. so it qualifies. It's in Saskatchewan. And then it said, do you fit into a certain group, Indigenous, visible minority, disabled, woman-owned, I prefer not to answer or none of the above. Uh, so what woman owned? Yeah. Like 
I mean, we're fitting into everything, right? Mm. And you're the creator, the inventor, the, you know, you come in in that capacity. But right now, Sylvia and I are on the, on the um, agreement, on the corporation's agreement is Sylvia and I. Right. We might not have had to incorporate as quick as we did, Elijah, but something was guiding me to do that because people usually incorporate if they're making so much money and they need to cut back on taxes. I, I, I see how big this is going. So I'm going, let's just start right off the bat. So that's why I get kind of annoyed when people just look down on corporations and they're slamming corporations. I'm a little, we're a little two people corporation. LR Future was a one person corporation, mm. right? <laughs> So it's almost like we have to give a different context to people for them to realize corporations aren't just those big monsters out there. And guess what serves Canada? Small business. Everything. And you know, what, you, know, you know what a small business is? Under 99 people. That's what's built our country. And if we can continue to really enhance on that, and I'm feeling First Nations coming up big time. And I'm not sure why, but there's just something about them. Maybe it's the spirit of them. Well, what, um, is it, I mean, I, I still keep Sylvia there, um, even though she's on holiday. So I think we can still, oh, that's true. We can still handle the, the application, but the, the, the key is the framing of whatever's the project. Right, that's, the, yeah. Um, as being like, what's the best entry or what's the best yeah. um, to do? Um, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call them on Monday. I've got their phone number. Okay. I, I want to have a live conversation with them and just say, can you give me some examples and things like that? And I'm going to let them know because Elijah, remember when I won that YWCA Woman of Distinction Award and it was for entrepreneurship and innovation? Oh, wow. That's what this is. Yeah. What we've got going is entrepreneurship and innovation. You anybody can create a job of it. What we're going to teach them. Right. Can so you maybe, imagine? So, so maybe uh, maybe a, a job a job creation program. Yes. Where you're coming in from the money side, and I'm coming in with the structure side. Yeah. And then um, Sylvia comes in with the all the other work. <laughs> Yeah, with all the, that's who she is. She's behind the she scenes. She's the support all, mechanism for. Yeah, she's the support mechanism. Exactly. Well, I can ask her if she's, like, she'll be available because she's back. What were those dates I said again? Are you available? Um, you want to give me the dates again? I, okay. It's September 8. It's a Wednesday. Okay. September 8, 15, 22, 29. From 9 to noon, which would be your time, 8 to 11. Okay. Because we're still on daylight and, savings. And they're, when, they're Wednesdays? They're a Wednesday, yeah. So three hours committed to live group. Because Elijah, think of what we did with everybody. No, uh, with every, all your group. Remember every Monday night we got together? That was yeah. powerful. Yeah. Laura and everybody was coming on. And people don't need to know that you're on the group and you're from BC. You're right at the visionary hub with us. Right. Right. Um, it well, matter. well, it's it is. It's the connection of the digital world with the physical world and being it is. in, you know, experts from everywhere kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you would want to call them too. So from your perspective, you get an answer from them on the innovation side and the structure side, and then I talk to them just as a starting a new business with a new model. And do you know, do you know just, see, do you see the deadline? It's in two days. I know. Oh, I don't have Monday then. August, Today's the 20th. August 30th. Yeah. I don't know why this popped up for me, but this is what happens in my life. Things just show up like that, and then it's like you act on it. Yeah. I think we're more... We're prepared more than we know, but maybe what we could do is we could start working on Elijah and then on Monday morning, first thing, I'll call them. And then we know if we have to tweak something. So, so the category we're going to fit into is interactive digital. That's what I would say. Yeah. 
Yeah. So the category is interactive digital, and then we'll look at it. We can look at it coming from a money side, but more about creating your job. Like every time you say that design your ideal job or create your ideal job or whatever, I get shivers through my body. So there's something going on there. I created my ideal job and I just called it LR Future. Well, then we can keep on adding to it. Like the design your ideal job is just, you know, both of us can keep on adding and then other people we do allyships with can, can add, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's going to grow and grow large um, because of all the other design connected to it. So. Yeah. I think a big part of what we're going to be doing is mentorship as well. I think there needs to be a channel of mentorship because as a fine, as a, as an entrepreneur myself and my mindset, I've really been a self-educator. I haven't gone to any university, but what I see is, you know, you go away and do training or you're doing training. And then it's like for people, what I see, I'm a mover and a shaker, but not everybody is. And I think that accountability and that mentorship is going to be a key component to whatever it is we set up is going to be that. For sure. Because when for I did sure. Dale Carnegie years ago, and I was one of the, I took it and then I became one of the, not an instructor, but one of the helpers. And I had a list of nine people I had to talk to every week to help them get ready for their next presentation. And it helped and they go, my God, Lori, just by you talking to us and asking me questions really helped me because I didn't know what I was going to do for the next class. So that mentorship is going to be big. Whatever that's going to look like. And I mean, it's not going to be us might be say me directly initially but then we start finding other people that can be doing that stuff right mm -hmm. so you think like i forget how you worded it elijah like we talked about entrepreneurship and innovation and then you said well all i can come from it from saying you know there's so much debt in canada like we're in the worst debt per person in the world in canada in a country like ours so I can come from kind of that perspective, bringing this model together, because whether it's designing your ideal job or getting in touch with your money beliefs or shifting your point of view, it all fits in. We just have to make this look nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> why don't... Um... So it says, describe the project or the business you plan to work on during the course of the digital marketing webinars. Include details such as what is the project, who is working on the project, and what's the goal of it. So, and then the next one, I don't know how many words I can put in there, but I have to type this all in. Describe the current stage of your project or business. Include a brief, brief history, years operating, website, social media, etc. And then Creative Saskatchewan is committed to representing the diversity of our province. As <coughs> such, we invite all registrants to respond to the following short thing, which we fit into women owned. And then you submit. So really it's just to say, what is the project or the business plan you're gonna work on? And what's the goal of it? Who's working on it? So Elijah, Lori, and Sylvia. And if Sylvia is away, available to be on for those three hours from wherever she is, because she's not back until I think the 15th or 16th, so she would miss two of them. But Sheila could sit in. Who's going to know the difference, right? Yeah, and maybe she, and, and maybe she can run to a coffee shop or something and, yeah. and see it or something. Yeah, that's what I asked. That's what we can ask. I sent it to Sylvia, too. I haven't heard back from her, but... <laughs> I think maybe what even makes me believe more that this is probably something to hit is because it is such a short date. Yeah, no, it's, I, I, how about this? Why don't we uh, reconvene two o'clock tomorrow? Okay. Give us some time to think on our own about it. And okay. it, maybe each of us come up with maybe project idea and goal idea. Okay. And then we'll synergize them. See, uh, see okay. how to put them together maybe. That sounds good. So just go through it and do number eight and nine. Mm -hmm. what you, from your point of view i'll do eight and nine with my point of view and then you and i'll bring it together i have spanish lessons at oh shoot i don't know if they're at two or three tomorrow shoot i can't remember i'll find out okay find out and then give me a reschedule okay. if uh if that's okay like if we could say one o'clock then that would be perfect 
Okay, if that works for you. One o'clock your time, so twelve o'clock. Uh, yeah, time? yeah, noon your time. Okay. Okay, that works for me. Then I don't even have to worry about what time. Okay, so let's do that and just pull together what you see and then how we can bring what we both got into one program. Oh, this is going to be unbelievable. And even if there's a map that we need to use in the definition or something, let's do it. Okay. okay. Awesome. Thank you for calling. That was perfect. All right. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Hey, see you later.